I remember, and when, when, when you work in the aviation community, you have to work up. It's, it's, it's a lot like perhaps a fraternity where you start out as an ensign and you work your way. Finally, the big day came. I was a plane commander, I was a mission commander, and I was given my first mission to take the plane, all the men, the crew, by myself, and I was in charge. And so what we're going to do is we're going to leave the shores of Florida, we're going to fly out on station, we're going to accomplish our mission, and then land somewhere else. And I was in charge of everyone that was with us. And, as, and, and you know, in the hustle and bustle of trying to get a plane ready for a mission, they were putting things on the plane, <coughs> filling out paperwork, and, and all this activity was going on. My commanding officer came up to me and he said, Mike, I'm going to need to have a word with you. And he said, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about being a leader. He said, you don't eat to your men. You don't go to sleep until you know that your men are comfortably taken care of in their quarters. In short, you don't do anything until your men are happy. And I learned at that moment that what it really means to be a leader means to be a good servant to the people you're leading. You need to be a servant leader. When I go to Washington, I intend to go there with a servant's heart and be a good servant to the people of the faith. Second of all, I'm an airline captain. I'm a ship's captain is what I am. You know what ship's captains do all day long? They decide. It's always one decision after another. People are coming up to you all the time. What about this? What about this? And here's the thing. I don't get to refer to a council of elders. I've got to make those decisions for myself. And you've got to be right. I've got 30 years of experience making the right decision on my own way. <coughs> this is a long track record of being a decider. Finally, you might think that what makes a good aviator is somebody who can fly the airplane. That helps. But really, your greatest tool as an aviator is judgment. You hear about it every day, about the people going out and making, making mistakes in the airlines or making mistakes in private aviation. I've got 30 years of being a leader, of having good judicial skills, and being someone who can make a decision and stick by it, and making the right decisions. So when I go to Washington, I'm going to bring those skills, and I'm going to use those skills, one, to represent the people of the 5th District, and I'm going to use those skills to remain who I am, a leader. I'm not going to Washington to change my Washington. I'm going to Washington to change Washington. This, I promise. Thank you.